Today we're going to be covering the differences between a three, four, and six stage turbine. So what we're going to show you is a three, four, and a six stage turbine spraying Sherwin-Williams Emerald. This is a cabinet grade latex finish. So in general with a turbine, for anything heavier than say a stain or a varnish or lacquer, you usually need at least four stages, particularly if you don't want to have to thin the product. Now if you're going to thin the product, you can always manage with a three or less turbine. However, for max performance, the more stages you have, the more pressure that the material will have at the cap, which gives you better atomization. So we'll go ahead and start. This is going to be using the same gun and then three different turbine motors to pressure the material. And we'll show you the difference between each. So we're using Sherwin-Williams Emerald with a 1.8 tip. This is a four stage turbine. Material is not thinned at all. So you can see on the middle of my pattern, I still, I have a little bit of orange peel. And that's partially due to the reduced performance of a four stage. My pattern's also smaller by a little bit. So you could certainly spray this product as a four. But we're gonna go ahead and switch over now to a six stage. All right, same product, Sherwin-Williams Emerald, 1.8 tip, six stage turbine. You can see my pattern's wider. You can see the breakup is much smoother. You don't get less orange peel. This is why stages of the turbine matter. The thicker the product you spray. So for your cabinet grade latexes and enamels, really a five or a six is ideal. You could get away with a four. The finish does smooth out pretty well, particularly with this product. But we'll go ahead and show you a three. All right, so this is a three-stage turbine. Emerald, 1.8 tip, unthin paint. Again, my pattern's gonna be shrunk even more with a three. And then you can see it's starting to struggle to have enough power to break this paint up, and it's much slower. I can barely really do it unthin. So as you reduce the number of stages to your turbine, you lose speed, you lose the pattern a bit, and you lose the breakup. That particularly applies if the material is a little bit heavier or thicker. However, if you're spraying thin products like stains or conversion varnishes or lacquer, or you're willing to thin your paint slightly, then you can get away with a three or even a two stage turbine. But hopefully this shows you the differences between the different turbines so that you can understand which one may be right for your needs. 